hey everyone welcome back so if you really want to delete your thread history from your system then what you have to do just click on this start button okay and here you have to search for virus and thread protection okay then double click on it all right here you can see zero thread found by the help of this thread protection of your system but if you will click on this protection history here you can see these are all the threads that has been found by the protection history of your system okay so if you really want to delete all these thread history items from your system then what you have to do just close this then go to this pc then click on the view button okay and here you have to enable these hidden items okay then click on this c drive then go to the program data folder okay and here we have a options called as the Microsoft. So just double click on it and make it open. Then scroll down and in the below part, you can see a options called as the Windows Defender. Okay. So just double click on it and make it open. And now here you can see a option called as the scan, right? So just double click on it and make it open. But now here you can see we are facing the problem like you don't currently have the permission to access this folder, right? So how you can resolve this problem to open this scan folder because we are going to delete the history folder which is present inside this scan folder, right? So before that we have to solve this issue that is we don't have current permissions to open this folder, right? So how we can resolve this issue? So for that just close this, okay? then again close the entire thing from here then just refresh your system okay then just press the windows button and r button in your keypad okay then you can see a this type of pop-up over here and here in this open box you have to write the gpedit.msc okay then click on ok then you can see a this type of pop-up over here and here just expand this one then then expand this windows setting folder Alright, and inside this you can see a options called as the security setting. So again expand this one, then again expand this local policy folder. Okay, and now here you can see we have a options called as the security options, right? So just click on it, then here you can see so many different policy are there. Okay, so scroll down and in the below part you can see a options called as the user account control admin approval mode for the built-in administrator account okay and now here you can see the security setting is not defined right so just double click on it and here just click on disable then click on apply then click on ok all right then in the below part you can see another options use account control run all administrator in admin approval mode right so just double click on it then click on disable then click on apply then click on ok all right then you can see a this type of pop-up over here all right so just close this one then close this one okay then restart your system okay then after restarting your system if you will go to that particular folder that is called as a scan folder right so previously whenever we are trying to open this folder at that time it was showing the error but now if you will double click on it here you can see we have successfully opened that particular scan folder right and now here you can see inside this scan folder we have a folder called as the history right so double click on it and make it open then select all this folder which is present inside this history folder okay then press the delete key from your system and delete all this folder from here okay then click on don't show this current item and click on skip button okay and then if you will go to this start bar and here if you will search for virus and threat protection then here you can see zero thread found and now if you will click on this protection history here you can see we don't have any scan history right so in this way we can remove all the scan history that has been found by the thread protection from our system all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye